Okay, we're starting uh, starting soon here. Where is the window for this? So, piggy pog pairs. How can I be a pig though when I'm a bunny? Those are those are two different animals, silly. Silly, silly goobers in the chat. Silly Goober is one of my many names. Ah yes, I have many names. No Jack about Pokemon, so this will be fun. Indeed, I recently made a few changes to this deck after having an idea recently on how to improve it since Monday. I cannot attack first turn, so I cannot uh, search for the card. I need yet. We'll have to wait. Uber Jack about TCG. Yeah, the TCG is a lot less popular these days, I've noticed. I feel like back in like the, the early 2000s when, when there was still some of that lingering Pokemania, I feel like the TCG was like a lot bigger of a thing. To the point where like some people would think about like the cards before they would think about the video games or the anime but I feel like the trading card game these days has become like a kind of a weirdly niche thing in comparison to some other parts of the franchise like the games the anime they only ever seem to really get uh, get like more popular more people talking about them but the TCG just kind of gradually just kind of shrinks and fades. I do hope that with the new expansions having a lot of potential in my opinion, I hope maybe we'll see a bit of a renaissance with it as it goes from what was, in my opinion, a dark age the last few years into a Something a lot more fun again, hopefully. Also, I think I need to update stream information again. That was uh, quite an eventful first turn they had. But now 
I can finally do what I actually wanted to do. Or not, I guess, because that also take a turn to do that. Sort of feeling overwhelmed by how much they got going on over here. They seem to have gotten quite a good, quite a good first turn, exactly like they needed. Clearly there are still some improvements needed for this deck as well. reached a point in the ladder where I may be outclassed a bit. Piercing. Uh, I guess I could summon two more of these to the bench as well, because why not? Winning or losing, I'll cheer you on. Not like I can tell the difference. Fair enough. The, uh, the encouragement is appreciated. Thank you for cheering me on regardless. Welcome Tavish. I will fist all my foes in cyberpunk. At least take him out to dinner first. I think I know what this deck they're playing is going for, and I am not a fan of it. A one fight stand kind of person. <laughs> Good one.
I really should be trying to make puns and stuff more, but my brain... My brain too tired, too, too small, too smooth. Brain too smooth to make puns anymore these days. I, s I still need to rewatch rewatch some old Chugga playthroughs and stuff. Maybe that will help will help me with with making more puns. Fully reawaken that side of my brain. Also, I can't believe that actually worked. They, ha they actually let that happen. I assume with, uh, with Giga Magnet, they want to attach a bunch of metal energies to Dialga and then use Dialga V-Star, which I believe does more damage the more metal energy you have attached to it. But it seems like they don't actually have a way to search specifically for Dialga V-Star. Because they haven't, they haven't, like, gotten one set up yet. So they, huh. That's weird. There must be something. Did someone say puns? Indeed. I need I need to work on my ability to make more puns. Also, hi. How's the cute puppy doing? Good, that's good. I am also doing good, I think. A bit a bit eepy, but maybe streaming will help help my energy back up a little bit, I hope. Also, I was supposed to start it uh, like 40 minutes ago, but I wound up being a, a half hour late. I re really need to stick to this schedule, though. Even if even if I'm like a little bit earlier late, I need to like generally keep the routine going. Okay, they finally got the thing they were clearly looking for. How many are they gonna attach? They 
they do not have but they also would need two for Magnazone's retreat cost in order to switch it out without some other without some kind of trainer card or supporter or something no no switch no escape rope no bosses orders then then they would need energy I think they do they did play one of those earlier but like they would need energy to retreat so if they don't have the energy to retreat because they attached it to Dialga instead I think I know what my next play needs to be. Magnazone is gonna go down this turn, which will be which will leave me with one prize card left, but then they'll probably switch to Dialga, take out Slow King, because then they'll uh they will probably be doing a lot of damage with that. But then if I can get my second slow king taken at, um, I mean, not taken out, set up, I mean, then, like, need one more energy, I can use one more word of ruin to take out whatever the Pokemon they sent, they, uh, to take out, like, their Dialga next, and then, and then even if they take that one out too, they'll have two prize cards left, well, it'll take my last one, I think. As expected, they switched in Dialga. They are probably going to attack Slowking this turn. Actually, wait, Word of Ruin will go off without even needing the second one, won't it? So I thought, I thought they were going to have a turn yet. It's supposed to be at the end of their next turn. The turn order is confusing to me sometimes. If it's supposed to be at the end of their next turn, but then it knocked them out, and then they had... Oh wait, no, knock the max, it was at the end of their turn then, so then the next one would have been my turn. Yeah, I am I am done with this. I didn't even need the second sloking, but I guess it's good to set it up just in case. Indeed, they're gonna attempt to attach more energy, I bet and to take out Slow King. Once, once I figured out like what they were trying to do based on having seen decks like this a good, a good amount of times at this point, did somehow become a lot easier to like plan around it oh wow they couldn't even knock it out properly <laughs> Yeah. 
know, I just realized I probably could have predicted that if I had done the math on like how much how much energy they had. That's one more thing I need to remember with this game is there's a lot of math and, and shit to it. Also, we got a booster pack. Yay, let's see what's inside. Ramblin. Kilowatt roll. The burb. Paldean Tauros, the water one. Ramble gas, then it's a reverse hollow. Interesting. Rookity. Ooh, another one of this Hariyama. The next tier we get, what are these? Battle VIP pass, credits, a booster pack. And some supporter card that I can't make out who's on it. Opponent won the coin flip and is deciding who goes first. I'm going to take a moment then to get a bite of dinner. Oh, they decided I will go first then. Okay, never mind. Dinner will have to wait a bit. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a bite. Oh, nope, still not. <laughs> I wonder what deck they're going for with this. Okay, now while they take their turn, I'm going to go get dinner for real.
it's our turn once again. We're gonna gather the crew. Hmm, so one of those is in my prize cards then, I'm guessing. They brought out Slow King. Interesting choice. What exactly are they? F they're really not fishing for anything in the deck, huh? They're just kind of. I guess just hoping to do this the old fashioned way, unless. Oh no, that only works if they're on the bench, though. If they actually switch that to active, they won't. I wonder if they're gonna try the strategy to just like switch back and forth to avoid Word of Ruin. Nope. Okay then. Well, uh, I kind of feel like this is overkill. I'll heal Sloking, give it the scroll of piercing, attach a fire energy, and we're all equipped up now. Honestly, I might as well, I might as well just go for this, just for the fun of it. It's interesting the Urfersona isn't a Pokemon. What vibes about Jackalope made you choose it? Well, I used to be Lopany, I guess. Uh, now, now it's a jackalope because I wanted, I wanted to like keep the the bunny vibes for a lot of reasons that I forget because I am smooth brain <laughs> and my attention is like on the game now, so my my memory is like. My like the my memory is like all compartmentalized, so I'm kind of kind of hard to remember stuff like that when I'm also focused on like what's going on in the game. 
I know there's a lot of things about like rabbits and stuff that I really uh, I really found were kind of relatable though so I wound up going like yeah I want to keep I want to keep a uh, rabbit rabbit sona of some form Jackalope though I went for cuz I like I like the antlers I like I like having that little bit of of edge that's like I'm not I'm not soft and cuddly bunny I'm I'm uh more like the the Monty Python killer rabbit <laughs> I mean, I am also very cuddly, but people, people all too often mistake, people all too often mistake that kindness for, for weakness, for being a pushover, and they try to walk all over me and then get shocked when I don't let it happen. So the antlers are sort of like, uh, what's the saying? Speak softly, but carry a big stick. It's like, I, I, I try to be kind and nice, but I am not a doormat. I am the opposite of that. That's metal, big head sticks, exactly. Also, outer ram. That's that's one way to think of it. Like my my mental ram is is consumed by uh, by the game at the moment. Everything else is compartmentalized away somewhere deep down for the time being. But yes, speak speak softly, carry carry the big the big head sticks. Another mulligan. How many mulligans am I gonna have to take, I wonder? Okay, I finally got Basculin out. I really should have two more of those slow kings in my deck, but they take so m they take so many credits to get a card like that. Also, there's the the Chen Pao and Palkia deck yet again. I see that one a lot as well. interesting that after after so many streams of this at this point we are still at a point in the ladder where people are just using the pre-made free decks pretty much instead of actually coming up with anything on their own Actually, Blastoise V. I don't think that was part of the the pre-made free deck. So maybe they edit. Maybe they made a little bit of changes to it. Having to basically rely on Basculin to actually get Slowking out is definitely not ideal though, because it does waste an extra turn. If I could just get Slowking out turn one, then that would be a lot easier. Uh, 
That would be a lot easier if I actually had uh, had four of them in the deck. That'd be double the odds. Actually, hold on. What? what could I use Battle VIP Pass to search it out? Maybe. Uh, maybe that could help. So when it says when you it says when you discard from your Pokemon, does that mean this card only, or could they pull from any card even on the bench? If it's the latter, that would actually be pretty dangerous and might explain why so many people use this deck. more cards from their deck. They're probably going to attach one again, I bet. Oh, they got Palkia. That's... What does this do again? 20 more damage for each benched Pokemon. Attach three energy cards from your discard pile. Oh, that explains a lot, because this discards the energy, but then that can pull it back. Yeah, they can pull from the bench too. That's definitely a problem. The the exact wording on these cards is uh, super important. Is one thing I've learned. It is very much, and there's also there's like very much an aspect of you got to read the cards carefully to know the exact. Uh, capabilities and limitations and like the rules of like how exactly they work all of like the details of it you gotta you gotta be able to like decipher that from like the, the minimal amount of text with like the exact wording because it usually does follow like it works exactly how it says it's going to work, if that makes sense. So you gotta pay attention to that exact wording. I am definitely switching something out. For battle VIP pass to get this set up faster. I also need some way to interfere with how they with uh, how like energy attachment and stuff. Because the more energy they attach to every Pokemon, the stronger this card is gonna get. So I need something that I can prevent that from happening.
know, I probably lost this one. Definitely adding these, but what do I trade out for them? I guess the regular potions probably, although I can use multiple of those in a turn, which is... Although the same goes for uh, the Lucky Ice Pop as an item card. Both item cards, they can both be played as many times a turn as I want. This one does 10 less healing, but it also has, it's also a few, you could theoretically keep using it if heads. This one heals the same amount as the potion while also switching out, so it's 50 to 2 Pokemon. I think the potion is probably not the most important thing. Although, do I... Is, do I really need this either? Like, this probably isn't going to help me against Chen Pao or anything like that. If Slowking gets hit by something that can do enough to knock it out, then it's probably going to be way overkill anyway. That does way more than is even needed. Also, Cook just healing 70 is quite a bit. Gonna put four of those. Might also need... Uh, maybe I should put Avery's in this deck as well. Sloking honestly doesn't actually need that much energy, surprisingly. It's only one energy for one attack, two energy for another. Why did I type tra Travery? Travesty? My brain got all mixed up. Retreat cost to be basic Pokemon and play both yours and your opponent's. Hmm. Don't really need that when I've got Switch Cart though, do I? Something like a escape rope might also prove helpful though. Also, wait, this is also an item card then, so I can technically use this multiple times a turn as well.
Also, as many th even if I do run into the occasional Chen Pao deck, it's clear that uh, we're probably still gonna get plenty of wins and stuff just by uh, like we're just gonna keep going anyway without that. Because even if we do lose to the occasional Chen Pao, it seems like not much else can really stand up to this deck at this point. We could definitely still get, like, the, the majority of wins, I think, and keep making progress as a result. Unless we get to a point where just, like, everyone <laughs> has the Chen Pao deck. Which is definitely possible, considering that we're still seeing it this this far into the ladder. Okay, I know this one here. Actually, wait, if Tails, that attack doesn't happen, that is significantly more annoying than I actually thought this card was. I thought it was just, like, prevent effects done to this Pokemon by attacks or something, but that is actually a lot more annoying. <laughs> that it just straight up says, nope, your attack didn't happen. Traded one one uh, dark energy for three more of them. Although we still would only need one more anyway for this. So Horsey. Uh, I feel like I've seen this uh, Horsey Cedra Kingdra thing a lot too. Is that part of a part of like a deck with with Palkia maybe related to that? I'm not sure. Also, another deck that kind of screws Slowking is Coridon EX. Is one of the pre-made decks, especially given the whole weak to fighting thing, it's very easy for that to overwhelm it. Heads, so we get to heal again with this. But I haven't seen Coridon in a while either, so eh. Heads, yay, we get to go again. Tails as expected. Let's say Guaro can heal the rest. And we can go for the word of ruin. Opponent's turn, I'm gonna get some more of that dinner.
this person is smart enough to actually just switch. And unfortunately, they put my fire energy on the bottom, so I cannot yet use bullet breakthrough. Guess I have to attempt this one more time. Tails as expected. This game honestly just really hates the coin flips. Like, Almost every effect you're gonna want heads, but it will like almost always give you tails. You would think it's a 50-50 and everyone's just got confirmation bias, but I have seen people look up their statistics on like the, the old uh, the old TCG Online launcher when it was called TCG Online rather than TCG Live. It actually kept track of how many heads and tails you flipped. And I saw people checking, thinking it was probably confirmation bias, only to realize that, like, over time, they literally flipped, like, ten times as many tails as they did heads or some, sh or some, some insane number like that. Honestly, that I probably should have used Avery instead, because then I could have drawn three more cards, discarded one of their Pokemon. Although my bench is empty and Slowking is probably going down, so I really need more basic Pokemon in this deck. Oh wait, I could use Concoction again, though. And that was not helpful either. Yeah, the, this, the coins in this game are like absolutely weighted to tails for whatever reason. <laughs> It's at a point where like I, I try to avoid coin flips if at all possible. I only give it a pass on the, the ice pop card because I at least heal 20 damage either way. The coin flip is just for the chance to get to heal even more on top of it. In the vast majority of cases, it is not even worth bothering with the coin flip because it it probably will not go in your favor. So like if you can avoid using cards with coin flips, you typically want to. I know I know other people have expressed the same sentiment that coin flips have just let them down so consistently that they stopped bothering. <laughs> There are a lot of big, thick tails in Pokemon. Very true. There do be a lot of tails. See, the Battle VIP pass did not help me much either, because it only works on the first turn. I need to actually put, like, more Pokemon up front. Do I have any other cards with the similar effect? Oh 
only if you have 10 or more cards in the lost zone and a V-Star Power Sword only works once. Excuse me. I still have Palisand, but that's not a basic. I need a... Uh, and I need Sandy Gas, because the Sandy Gas I used actually, like, I guess doesn't, I guess isn't legal anymore. I think there was a type of Absol card, though, uh, that had a similar effect. Maybe that other Absol is not legal anymore either. There must be some other card that has an effect where it like automatically makes the opponent knocked out under some condition. has exactly four damage counters on it. That's not quite as helpful. I know there's a spirit tomb card coming up that's similar to this one. This one's a stage one. So similar to Palisand, that's a bit more work to set up. Although it doesn't cost energy. Which the Palisand card that was similar certainly did cost a lot of energy. This is Regulation F though, so that also won't actually be legal for much longer though. After like this year, I think it'll be rotated out. Again though, I know there is supposed to be... Uh, There's supposed to be like a Spiritum card with a similar effect, which I know I nor I know I just said like don't rely on coin flips, but like I think if the effect is literally like opponent's Pokemon is knocked out just automatically, maybe it's worth the try, especially if I know there are at least some other cards that can like mess about with the outcome of coin flips a little bit. They won't like straight up say, oh, if you got heads or like, if you got tails, you got heads instead, but there'll be stuff like, stuff that gives you like an extra chance to flip again if you get tails or something to that effect. See, this is the sort of attack. If both of them are heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. That's basically what the Spiritomb card I'm waiting for does. Spiritomb is also a basic Pokemon, so that makes that a lot easier to accomplish, at least. During your next turn, if the defending Pokemon is damaged by an attack from a Rapid Strike Pokemon, it'll be knocked out. See, that's interesting as well. 
this is one of the weird things about coming up on like the last year of a specific rotation though is that I need to keep in mind that like if I spend the credits to get these cards, I won't be able to use them much longer. Oh wait, they did release it. When did they release this? I could have sworn it wasn't with the expansion that I thought it was. Hold on. What expansion is this? Can I get like a closer look at the card, please? See, this is what I was thinking of. It definitely is something Scarlet and Violet, but I can't see. Oh, wait, I think it says Scarlet and Violet English. So this actually is a card on here now. I thought that wasn't released for some reason, but apparently it was. I just didn't see it on any of like the set lists I looked at for some reason. I'm confused now. But yeah, I think that Spirit Tomb and like a sort of stall deck would be interesting. Actually, now I want to see what happens if if there's any other cards that you like mess about with, like if you get tails or whatever. There must be some other cards that. Maybe I should look trainers. I think is where it was. Oops, type the wrong thing again. If you flip any coins for the damage effect, the damage deals for three cards at the end of your turn. That's something, I guess. Doesn't seem like the one I was thinking of, Glimwood Tangle, isn't isn't legal anymore. There must be something. Is there any Pokemon with like an ability? Uh, where it does something with tails. Something to make a coin flip better, I mean. Doesn't seem like anything like that exists either yet. Nothing here really sticks out to me though. I guess I just need like minch them need to fall back on my old uh, my old Minchino uh,
honestly am qu kind of becoming quite a fan of the, the rapid strike and single strike type cards, though. I think... I think that sort of thing is a much better gimmick than just, like, slapping the biggest numbers possible on a Pokemon. <laughs> I definitely would prefer they have like a sort of theme going where like certain certain types of cards that work together as opposed to just here is your your Pokemon V G E X Mega whatever and it's got like four hundred bajillion HP and does four hundred bajillion damage. I hate that kind of shit. Also, of course, we go up against the Coridon deck. I just mentioned earlier not having seen this deck in a while. There have been like a lot of uh, a lot of gimmicks over the course of the card game, but I definitely think the ones I'm a fan of are always the ones where there's like an actual like functionality to it, where it like adds an extra layer of strategy rather than just big number obliterate. Like, I've never really cared about, like, Pokemon EX or GX or VMAX or whatever. I know I say that with when Slowking is, like, the big part of this deck. But, like, at this point, I kind of have, like, a if you can't beat them, join them kind of mentality. Is that called beatdown in card games? Exodia. I mean, that was another thing, was they actually did have Exodia-style cards once, where you literally had to have, like, multiple pieces of, like, the, the bigger card and, like, play them together. I think in Pokemon's case, that was called Pokemon Legend, and they usually had, like... A legendary Pokemon of some variety on them, or even multiple legendary Pokemon, actually. It was sort of like Tag Team before Tag Team, except it was a lot harder to actually get them set up, and they were not nearly as powerful because Power Creep had not gotten to anywhere near the point it is now. There's always been a degree of power creep with each new set, but it's it's usually been pretty small and gradual. I think the Sword and Shield era is really where they just went off the rails and just started making all these absurdly powerful cards that also took like no effort to just slap in a deck and just brute force through like half the game.
Like, Sword and Shield is where, like, the inflation on, like, the hit points, the attack damage, the comparative energy cost for those numbers. Like, the HP and attack damage started going just way up, 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 higher, 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 and the, the energy cost, meanwhile, was going, like, lower and lower for that on average. And you even started seeing it on basic Pokemon a lot more uh, than you would have otherwise. Like, Inteleon here, if this was like a lowercase ex or. or like, uh, what's the. or like any other kind of card really, except for like the Sword Shield arrow ones. This would not be a basic Pokemon. This would be a stage 2 because Inteleon is a fully evolved Pokemon. And you would have to actually work up to this point. One thing that I kind of wish I could do is just like create my own sort of... Not... Is meta the right word, but like create my own sort of rule set where it's like cards from like where it's like instead of just going by set, it's more like it's more like certain like overpowered gimmicks are just banned, but like everything else throughout the whole game is like fair game. There are definitely some like older gimmicks that are actually fun, like. Delta Species was pretty fun. Uh, Pokemon Level X were actually pretty, pretty balanced as far as, like, a sort of going further beyond for instead of, like, Pokemon VMAX that had, like, 300 HP and Or Pokemon Legend in the Heart Gold Soul Silver era were also like an ac an actually well balanced way of doing like a powerful card. Uh, rather silly gimmicks over a power spike exactly it's so much more fun to have something something that brings something new and something different instead of just something stronger That's what I liked about Hearthstone. I have heard a lot, a lot of people have gotten into Hearthstone again, and I really need to give it a try at some point, but just... Blizzard as a company. I mean, I guess technically, like, if I don't give them any money, then I guess it's technically not a problem, but... And it's not like I'm going to be a super massive streamer giving them free publicity anytime soon. Anyone who's watching me at this point probably already knows that the game exists, probably already knows what the company has done and all their controversies and stuff. Power creep problems and uh, public relations. Yeah, public relations. That's one way to put it.
Honestly, I might have to look into Hearthstone. I feel like that could probably be a, probably be a good thing to play for a bit in the sense of like. Like, I'll probably be able to figure out pretty quickly how everything works due to having experience with Pokemon at this point, as well as playing stuff like Magic in the past. It'll be pretty easy to figure out, I think, but... Plus, like, I do kind of need a bit more variety, I think. Admittedly, playing playing Pokemon TCG four days a week, every week, probably going to get old after a while. So I need something that's, like, different enough to, uh, to, like, keep, keep me, uh, I guess to have, like, some variety, but still similar enough where people would probably, like, not instantly click off, because... I have noticed at this point that my, my Pokemon TCG streams do get a lot more views at this point than compared to if I try some, some other game. There's definitely a, a difference forming there. Oh, it's the easiest card game to get into short of Go Fish and maybe Clash Royale. That's good to know. I definitely might look into it then. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm definitely gonna look into that and probably. Uh, prob let me. How long? What's my phone battery at? Maybe I can look that up right now. Look more into it. I'll probably set it up after stream. But I definitely think I'm hitting like a plateau here with Pokemon where uh, coming up against a lot of a lot of stronger decks and better players while having exhausted my my resources to try new cards and thus I am a lot more limited with what I can build. Like if I if I could just like like, if I could just, like, try any card in the game in the deck for free and not have to spend a ton of credits to get good stuff, I probably would still be doing, a, doing better, but I'm definitely hitting a point here where I'm starting to run out of options against what I'm coming up against. So trying, trying something new definitely might be good for me.
Yeah, they got Chen Pao at this point. I'm probably screwed. Whatchamacallit, the next tier, though, at least, on the reward thingy. 35 credits. That is not a lot. So don't I already have four of this card? So how's that going to work? Okay, it just traded for 20 more credits, I guess. We got a booster pack. Therapeutic energy. That could be nice, I guess. Deli bird. Garga, Garga is cool, I guess. Posture check, thank you. Stretch time. for a booster pack plus credits. Is 75 credits enough for even like a single single of the cards I want though? I really wish you could like convert cards you don't want back into like credits and stuff or you know maybe maybe bring back the whole trading feature since this is a, a trading card game just an idea that we're we're probably like hitting a plateau on the ladder with our current deck just around just before we get to to bunny to bunny tier bunny ranking whatever Must reach bun tier. I guess maybe I'll go back to the other deck and see how this goes.
Bun, 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 indeed. evolved bun cards again, I guess. Jojo reference. Maybe. The, po the poses on the card art might be. I can't place exactly uh, what character would have done that pose, though. I really need to like do like a Jojo rewatch at some point, especially now that part six is finished can go through the the entire original timeline other card well now apparently I can't look back at it to see what which what you were referring to <laughs> can I see the discard oh no it's not discarded though because it's under there
Also, my brain is definitely getting getting a bit distracted now. escape rope that out and they'll switch to that but then I'll knock out what I send out this isn't gonna go well was doing so well earlier but now my brain has just kind of started drifting away again curse the the ADHD the short attention span why can nothing hold my attention for very long I definitely think I might actually try switching to Hearthstone going forward. At least for a bit to see how it goes. Maybe, maybe I'll enjoy it, maybe not, who knows. fun game to watch he used to be big on twitch he used to be I guess the whole Hong Kong thing probably uh, probably uh, probably stirred up a lot of controversy and controversy and that probably affected it I do play it on stream. I'm definitely just putting like free Hong Kong <laughs> into the into the title just so just to just to make make it clear. Yeah, that's that's one thing I gotta make clear is that I am not afraid to get political sometimes. I know a lot of people are scared that like it'll cause arguments or whatever, but honestly, people will be like weird and stubborn and argumentative about literally anything these days. I have had I have had some really stupid petty arguments over shit far less consequential 
than politics. <laughs> People will just cling to, like, anything to feel smart and superior and whatever. It is far from, like, a politics issue. People... People will make any topic into a controversial one if you let them. The only real difference is if it was any other topic, people would rightfully hold the specific person accountable for being a for being a pretentious dickbag. But when it comes to politics, Suddenly, they get to dodge that responsibility uh, because it gets put on, oh, well, you're the problem for bringing it up in the first place and not the person who's incapable of actually discussing like a mature adult. Not you, the viewer, but you know what I mean. Like, in, in this hypothetical scenario... Uh, the person who brings up the topic to begin with is going to be blamed because politics bad even if they are genuinely attempting to like discuss in good faith whereas anyone that responds in bad faith is going to avoid responsibility for doing so uh, God, I got so sidetracked talking about that. Another thing is that, like, politics affects everyone, whether they, like, realize it or not. Like, ev everything is the way it is because of, like, because of decisions that were made somewhere at some time. And a lot of those decisions are probably ones of a political nature. Uh, plus, there's also the whole thing of how, what even is political anymore? People have made just about anything and everything into a political issue these days. If everything is political, then might as well just treat nothing like it's political anymore, honestly. Because, like, it's, it's impossible to talk about anything these days without it being, like, Oh, you're getting political. Such a such an American thing to do is for people to make everything political and then complain about how everything is political now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep messing up because I keep getting sidetracked with the, the discussions and stuff. politics out of gaming yeah exactly and then you look at their favorite games and they're like games about war and like real world conflicts and just the most political shit ever remember when games weren't full of, of politics were grumble grumble how the fuck did I win that they just they lost by inactivity. They should. I. I did not deserve to win that. <laughs> Plays Fallout or like um, Metal Gear, which is literally like a metaphor for the Cold War. <laughs> or you know, again, war war games like Call of Duty. Uh, 
how is that stuff not political? But but when people see like when people see a woman or, or a gay in the video game, all of a sudden now everything is political grumble grumble. There was a tweet I saw about this. I don't think I can share links in chat, and you probably wouldn't see it in bed. Well, I mean, I probably could, because I'm the streamer, but, like, you, would, you wouldn't see it in bed, so, like, <laughs> I might as well just, like, say the tweet. It'd be easier than having to, like, dig it up in the browser, and then, basically, it was, like, opinions or shit, like, your favorite pizza topping or your favorite movie opinions are not does a group of people deserve rights as a counter to the whole oh it's just my beliefs yeah here's the thing about beliefs beliefs are not facts just because something is your belief doesn't mean is not a free ticket to just think you're right all the time beliefs can be flawed can be outright wrong it's just my beliefs is such a non-argument that says nothing except that you literally have no better defense for those beliefs That, that's pretty much what it is, is that people are like, well, I believe, blah, 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 blah. and it's like, yeah, you believe some fucked up shit. I honestly think that anyone who uses it's it's my beliefs respect my beliefs as a retort is a fucking idiot who has put zero thought into those beliefs they are almost certainly just fucking brainwashed by some propaganda shit. If they truly formed their beliefs by, by like, weighing their own experiences and thinking about how, like, how their experiences fit into, like, the wider world and thinking all this stuff through, then they would have a hell of a lot more convincing of an argument than, it's my beliefs, shut up. Am I am I am I alone for thinking this way? <laughs> I feel like I I feel like way too many people still do not get this. <laughs> Have not realized this. They're actually trolling. Oh, I have met people that genuinely, genuinely just constantly shout insane shit and then say it's their beliefs. I have met way too many people who are, like, genuinely like that. Not, not a hint of sarcasm or irony, just plain up, off-the-wall batshit. How can you be so concerned about indoctrination without actually engaging with the implications of what you believe? Exactly. Like, these people always go on about, like, oh, the, the woke media shoving the politics down our throats. Yeah, blah, 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 free speech, this. 
woke propaganda or liberal propaganda, whatever it is, that. It's like they always go on and on about how they think they think the other side is brainwashing, but they put zero scrutiny toward their own side. Like me, I'm pretty obviously on the left at this point, I'd say. But I also... I am able to be critical of, like, left-wing beliefs and stuff as well. Because I know where they're coming from well enough that I can actually say, Well, you're almost there, but here's the problem. The, like, a lot of people on the right, and some on the left for that matter, but definitely more prevalent on the right is just this sort of everyone is brainwashed but me mentality. The red pill movement is a disease. I wish I, I, I wish the red pill was cyanide so they'd take it and shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, may, maybe that's a bit much, but... <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that was probably a bit much. Probably got a bit dark there. now realizing that Seribot is not among the users in chat. I thought I had that turned on. I'll have to look into that later. Moobot is still in chat though at least. Moderation stuff. I need to look out of that. Need to look into that. I mean, not out of that. What what is what is looking out of something in that context? The the radical bunny clips folder. <laughs> radical ra radical Benuiism. Seized, seized the means of of production, and by that I mean steal, steal the the crops and the carrots and the vegetables right out of the farmland. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a new ideology cult? Honestly, I might as well make that a running joke at this point. Is like. Welcome to to the the radical Benui Benuiism. The the uh, the manifesto is I don't know somewhere. <laughs> we'll we'll print out a pamphlet later.
are approaching the two hour mark. Should should we keep going? I don't know at this point. It's kind of a kind of feeling like I should probably uh, kind of running out of stuff to say. I think getting too distracted from like the game itself too. So it's like. Maybe, maybe you should just go back to, to Discord or whatever for the night. Before Twitch takes notice of this edition. <laughs> This this is this is this is B Banui land now. We are we are sovereign Banui territory. I hope our economy doesn't implode in four years. Or wait, no, that's not sedition. That's secession. What is sedition again? Is that like uh, t treason? I am bad with words. I am going to find someone to raid. Hate speech against the state. If the state doesn't want to be hated, it shouldn't be so terrible at everything.